We're back in Radlands 101, our How to Play series. And uh, the first video here in this How to Play is going to be uh, just following your turn sequence. Uh, that way you kind of have a better idea of how your turns will play out. So luckily in the game, uh, they give you this really handy dandy card that tells you what you can do during your turn, uh, the events and orders that things should go, and what all the areas of a card mean. And then on the flip side, uh, what all of the symbols on the different cards will mean. So this is actually really handy to have next to you somewhere on the board, kind of out of the way, just so you know how your turn works. So the first thing for your turn here, we're going to follow this, uh, we have an event. So with the game, you have what's called like an event queue or an event line where you will put in uh, after you play events, they'll go over here. And then at the beginning of the turn, the events will move up one. So if you have something in spot two, it'll move to spot one. If you have something in spot one, it's going to resolve or activate at the very beginning of the turn. So if you have something in one and it goes to zero, you can discard it in your discard pile and do the ability. So for example, this ability was we gain three punks. Uh, so punks are cards that just come from the top of your deck. So there, that's the first thing you do during your turn is move up events and resolve those events. Now, the second thing is called the replenish step. Now, this has been updated in the online rule book by the developers. Um, in the original rule book, it mentioned that you um, refill your water and then draw your card, but they've reversed that. So the recommended turn of events is, um, is your events resolve or move up. Then you draw a card into your hand, and then they recommend collecting your three water for the turn. Now, the only difference between a first turn and any other turn is if you're going first, you will only collect one water to start your turn, but you will still draw your card. That's the main difference. That's the only difference throughout the whole game between all of the turns. First players, first turn, just one water. Every other turn, Everybody will always have three water after that. Now, once you've replenished, which is again, drawing your card, collecting your water, you then go into the step three, which is the action phase. So the action phases include playing cards. Uh, you can draw more cards, junking cards. You can take your water silo and use any abilities. So we'll just kind of go over those really quick a little bit. Um, so you can always spend two water to draw another card. That's an action you can take. You can always spend one water to collect the water silo. If you still have your water, you can always play the abilities on all of your cards. If all of your rows aren't full, you can then always use water to play people. Uh, what junk means is you can always discard a card and follow the little symbol in the corner. And I'm gonna do a video on each one of these actions. So if that's a little confusing, um, you can just go to that specific video and then see what you can do. Then at the end of the turn, usually what I like to do, and they, they mention this in the rule books, is once all of your abilities are used, you can just set them out somewhere, uh, discard it as if they have been used, and end your turn. And then following suit, uh, the other player will do the same thing. So they will move up and resolve any events, draw their own card, collect their water, and do all their actions. And back and forth until somebody has destroyed the other person's camps. And that's basically the turn sequence of a Radlands game. Stay thirsty, punks.